So it's tax time, and if you're lucky enough to be getting a good refund, it's important not to waste it on unnecessary spending and instead really put the refund dollars to good use. And joining me now is Sheila Jacobs. She's CEO of Life and Money Consulting. Thanks for being with us, Sheila. It's great to be here. So first, let's talk about what a lot of people go for, the refund anticipation mm -hmm. loans, because they're so anxious to get that refund. Yeah. And you say what about that? Well, it's really easy to say, yes, I'd like my money right now, but a lot of people don't think about the interest rate on those loans and that it's yet another unnecessary fee, and these things really add up. And most of us can get our refund in about 10 days by filing electronically and using direct deposit. And why wouldn't you want to get all of your money? Why not? Right. right. Also, you say that it's really important to be organized, especially if we're taking something mm -hmm. to a tax preparer. Yeah. Tell me about that. All year round, we need to be organized. And it's great to have a personal financial organization system because you don't want to pay your tax preparer to organize your stuff. That's not their role. And you also don't want to miss a good deduction because you're not organized. So when, when we talk to people and we go out on the street and we say, how are you, how, how are you going to use your tax refund? Mm -hmm. Everybody says, I'm going to reduce my debt. But mm -hmm. there's a certain way that you can be really smart about that. Yeah. You want to hit the highest interest rate debt first. And I understand that you want to get rid of a bill and this will make let you sleep at night. But it makes sense, and especially over a lifetime, to get into the pattern of paying off that highest interest rate stuff first. And really look at your overall goals. Debt mm -hmm. reduction might be one of those goals for the new year. Yeah, but there may be other Others. And so right. if you haven't made those financial resolutions, it's not too late to start. And if you're a little off track, the refund can help you get back on track. So it's a good idea to take a look at the whole picture. Which might include contribution to your retirement because I know a lot of people are mm -hmm. worried about that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a great time to do it. A lot of us wait until next tax season to wake, make the, 2000, the 2010 contribution. Mm -hmm. But if you get into the habit of making those contributions earlier, that gives your money a lot more time to work year over year. So it makes a lot of sense to do it early. And I think as exciting as it gets to get that big check, mm -hmm. if you don't have an emergency fund, you need to take some of that money and set it aside because you never, you know, you need to save it for a rainy day, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and I think your viewers especially w want to be aware of this because right. times are difficult. Good, smart, hardworking people are out of work. So when you're able, set aside at least six months, in my opinion, of an emergency fund so you can get yourself through the tough times. That's all really good information on how we should spend our refund. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you. It's been great.